What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Finance King Network. And I also want to welcome you guys to another horrible, horrible day in the market, especially for the OTC. But, but the new year is coming soon and I want to talk right now about one of the stocks that it's going to make a lot of people a lot of money on this dip here um, that just came in the last couple of days. And there's a lot of fundamentally sound OTC companies out there right now than you can get on this dip that has been created by the market for no apparent reason other than just market conditions. And um, the companies... Like I always tell you guys that fundamentally get better, stronger, the numbers get better, the revenue, the team grows, the management is solid. This is your opportunity not to be scared away, but to grab as much as possible for the incoming run that's coming in 2022. But I want to talk about one of the companies right now. That will most likely be on the NASDAQ in the in the next year, um, possibly in the next six months. And you can right now get it at a valuation that you will probably never see again. And I also want to tell you guys, come next year, we're going to be going live, right? We're going to be going live on the channel next year. Hit the like if that's what you guys want to do. Is go live with me um, because I'm going to be invi inviting people up here um, to go live with me so we could all speak, we could all chat, we could all, you know, talk about things, talk about stocks, whatever you guys want to talk about, everybody's welcome. As long as I can see your face, I'll pull you up here if you want to come up. But what I need you guys to do is get, get the network to 3,000 subs as soon as possible. Soon as, that, as soon as we're at 3K, we're going live. Um, and like I said, it's not going to be just me. It's going to be everybody out there. As long as I can see your face, you're all welcome. Um, no matter what you have to say. And, um, you know, bears, bulls, everybody. Everybody will be welcome on the live Finance King Network. Um, so let's get into this eyeless news that came out last week. And... This news, this is one of the biggest acquisitions um, that they just started, that they just announced. And this is not even counting all the other acquisitions that they had in the last couple months. Mind you, this is just one of them. Um, and this is one of the biggest. And like I said... This news is just the start of what they're going to be announcing on this acquisition. And for all those who question, where's the money coming from for this enormous acquisition? Well, you're about to find out. And everybody that listens to these articles or these bears or these people trying to bring the stock down as much as possible. Um, you guys... Um, I don't know what you're doing with yourselves besides investing, but it's not working for you. If you don't use your own brain, if you don't use your own understanding of companies and you count on people that don't even put their own name on articles that they publish and continuously for no good reason, bashing a stock where they almost transparently make it that they're just trying to buy in for the lower. They're trying to short a position as much as possible. And this is the people that you're listening to. Um, good luck to you guys, I guess. But let's get into this article. That merely explains why Eyeless will be one of the biggest companies in the world and why next year... This company is going to blow up and you could right now get it at a, under a $500 million market cap. But I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get into this article. 
Eyeless International remains focused on its M&A strategy of acquiring and growing a global technology companies. The company completed three acquisitions in the first two quarters of 2021 and has since signed agreements for a further four acquisitions, of which it is planning to fully complete at least two of these acquisition transactions before year end. Eilis also recently made significant progress on its much anticipated European deal, which has now been approved at European government level and the first phase is awaiting sign-off following standard administration procedures. During the first phase, Eilis is acquiring a large manufacturing site from the government for the manufacture of its commercial electric utility vehicle, UTV range and component and parts for supply to the electric vehicle and renewable energy industries. In the first phase of the deal, Eilis has agreed the acquisition of privatization of a 652,000 square foot manufacturing site from the government in southeastern Europe. 652,000. Do you guys understand how big of a facility of a facility 652,000 square feet is? I believe it's bigger than most Amazon facilities out there. Um, And Amazon is what, almost a trillion dollar market cap? We're not half out of half a billion yet. And we're getting these size of, we're getting this kind of space, 652,000 square feet. You guys got to start putting two and two together. I mean, um, let's keep going. Eyeless will be using this site to manufacture its complete commercial electric UTV range as well as other equipment manufacturing OEM. By the way, guys, I've been telling you guys about this company since six cents. Like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. And, and like I said, the faster we get to 3,000 subs, the faster we go live, everybody is invited. Um, everybody, no matter what opinion you have, no matter what you have to say, you could, you guys could get on here and curse me out as long as it's after two minutes and YouTube doesn't violate. You're more than welcome. Um, I will be looking um, possibly for some co-hosts and uh, everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome to get on. Shout their channel out. I told you guys, I want to help other YouTubers grow, or even people that are looking to start a YouTube channel. I'm here to help you guys. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. The agreed manufacturing investment project involves several incentives provided by the European government to ILAS for the manufacturing of initiative of innovative technology to be exported globally some of these government initiatives incentives excuse me include but are not limited to the provision of manufacturing facilities substantial rebates for all staffing requirements and manufacturing plant machinery assistance with necessary licensing and approvals and preferred bidding for large government manufacturing and supply contracts in the region, the commercial electric vehicle market is currently valued at $315 billion per year and is expected to triple in the next five years. So in the next five years, it's going to be a trillion dollar industry. In partnership with the local government of the region, this manufacturing investment project is expected to create 150 jobs and generate 8 million in 2022 with the partnership projecting 2000 jobs and 45 million by 2025 followed by 5000 jobs and 100 million in revenue by 2030 so they're expecting this acquisition alone alone 
to bring in $100 million in revenue by 2030. Mind you, this is just a one, one acquisition. And like I said, you could still get this company at a $500 billion market cap. What's the forward PE that a lot of these companies are trading at? 30, 60, 70 times? And you can get this company at half a billion. Listen, um, I just, I'm going to just keep going. Eilis will be acquiring a brownfield site with further details on the specific location and site details and plans to be unveiled as soon as all administrative documentation has been signed off with existing industrial warehouses and administrative buildings already in place, Eilis will begin by making some site upgrades and commissioning the manufacturing plant. Whilst immediately recruiting the first of the 150 staff that will operate from the site in 2022, a wide range of jobs will be created, including engineering, design, fabrication, assembly, me mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, finance, administration, operations, quality assurance, human resources, information technology, supply chain, logistics, maintenance, sales, account management, marketing, and management. To illustrate the sheer scale of the manufacturing operation, Eilis is establishing an end-to-end -end production facility for its specialist commercial electric vehicles with departments to include finance and cost control, sales and marketing, HR, industrial relations, and administration, IT, research and development, supply chain, yada, yada, yada. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and read all this to you guys. Um, I'm going to just get to this last paragraph. Well. Wow. I'm going to just read this one more thing. Once final approvals are in place, Eilis expects to begin commissioning the manufacturing facility at the start of January 2022. Two weeks away. With some manufacturing to begin in February and full production to be underway by the first, by the end of the first quarter, recruitment is underway and three senior managers have already been appointed to lead key departments at the facility. Eilis also has an existing team in place in the country that is working closely with the government to ensure that administration administrative procedures progress efficiently over the coming weeks and months this is just the first part of the deal and you can get on in on this dip right now at what 34 cents do your homework on this company understand what's going on don't let market conditions deter you from the goal and f for what we're really here for. You guys know these companies move fast one way and then even faster the other way. The question is, are you going to be here for that ride? Um, salute, like, subscribe. Let's get to 3K. I can't wait to go live with you guys. And um, we out here, man. Salute.